all right welcome back to the channel all right special video for you all here today we just got an update sent to the car so i'm actually over here charging and i just received this update 2024.20.1 and it looks like it also includes dot 20 which finally has headlights adapt for curves so looks like i got the um adaptive headlights uh just added to my car out of thin air which is super cool i'm really looking forward to it getting dark so i can test that out to see really what that means um but yeah that's that's really awesome also there's a new rule to autopilot suspension it basically resets every day that you don't get a strikeout and then every seven days if you do strike out you it will reset and you'll get it back so there's the official rules on the autopilot suspension this is one of the coolest things that they added with this update um, my favorite game on here beach buggy racing 2 now has leaderboards at each supercharger location so when you're charging you can set your time Basically, you, you can race and set your fastest lap and everyone is going to be trying to compete for the fastest lap at each location. And your car can be, you know, in the leaderboards. Basically, everyone is eligible. So that's really cool. I'm basically going to start hanging out at Superchargers in my spare time and just trying to crush everyone's leaderboards. Like, so, yeah, try to get your fastest lap in there ASAP because yeah that's gonna be really cool to see um, another thing is FSD trial is officially over and I wonder if they timed that out exactly the day that the, the trial ended I got this new update um, so we're actually charging at the moment here let me go ahead and unplug the car and then in this video we're gonna test out some basic autopilot functions and some of the things that you get automatically with the car, basically no FSD. All right, so just like that, we are no longer charging. I'm at 74%, which is great. Love to get the free juice from here. All right, first thing we're gonna notice is we still go in full screen um, without FSD. And notice with Tesla Vision, I'm able to see the high fidelity park assist all around me. So that doesn't go away. So let's see now, um, you know, you normally get the single line indicating that FSD is active. So that of course went away. Um, and then as soon as you start going, I think like over seven miles per hour, then uh, it turns back into the computer visualization instead of FSD. I'll check this out here, Ghost Tents on the Model Y, shout out to them. Looks like they got some, uh, I gotta, gotta hit them up because I am looking to get the Model Y tinted right here in the front two windows did not come tinted for some reason. The back two are, so I just need to even that out here. So notice turns like that, FSD would always do for you. See, I'm getting the icon to pop up they just went away now you know if you want the car to turn for you fsd is what you want um look at autopilot more as like a really advanced adaptive cruise control um it works but notice that it will not stop at stop signs notice how it was ready to just go through the stop sign and uh that's going to be the biggest difference between autopilot and fsd is your stop sign control and your local streets being able to turn left and right make you turn stuff like that and then also i still have single pull um kind of in my head but this car is set to double pull so i need to kind of re learn that as well too and having a tesla always is always about retraining your brain because once you learn something it always changes so yeah um, here we go We're back again with basic autopilot. It's something that you want to try to reserve for some of the um, highways and you know roads with higher speeds because if you don't have FSD, it will not stop at stop signs. Notice I had to take over. Um, so if, if you're cool with just 
letting it ride and um, of course stopping at stop signs and stop lights yourself making rights and left turns yourself then you know FSD is not really something that you need um, granted basic autopilot works on the main roads where there is a lot of traffic you know even though I have FSD I find myself making this turn a lot anyways so it's not like something that I use every second but it doesn't mean I can't go from my driveway to park position completely autonomous it works it definitely works I test it out every day um, so again here you know it works on roads like this but it will not stop at the stop sign it so it kind of registers pointless until you get on really the key is to have someone in front of you when you have someone in front of you then autopilot is the best so I will show you that example here as soon as I make the left because again FSD is what's gonna turn for you regular autopilot will not make these maneuvers for you so that of course is a paid-for subscription which is $99 a month now I do have it on my model 3 so on this car we did not purchase FSD this is kind of used more for like a commuter work car um, and uh, yeah I did have a trial on this car for a month which was amazing I pretty much drove it every single day because of that trial and it just ended today and uh, since then I got an update for matrix adaptive headlights which I'm really interested in seeing how that works so here we go officially on the quote-unquote highway and I've got a car in front of me and uh, let's see how long it takes for the car to ask me for a nag because I haven't used basic autopilot in a while and I want to see that's my first thing is I've heard that the, you know there's been quite a few improvements on basic autopilot one being you know ask for a lot less nags um, compared to the oh right when I said that of course right when I looked away the nag popped up but still not terrible um, it's it's you know tracking my eyeballs so I did look away and boom of course it popped up that very second but you know we always talk about how great FSD is um, and I think basic autopilot doesn't get talked about as much because there are probably more people that have basic autopilot than they do FSD I mean there are definitely more people because Tesla's all all around the world and only right now in America and Canada there's FSD so until let's see how it registers this car trying to turn in does a really nice job picking up the turn signal and I like how even basic autopilot can sense that there's no lanes painted over here and it's and it's figuring it out it's keeping straight it's not kind of you know jerking into this right lane which is perfect um, and I love how, you know, it does take from each update, you know, things that it learned with FSD and it does apply it to basic autopilot. This, this does get overlooked a lot because everyone's always talking about FSD, FSD. Um, but, you know, keep in mind, basic autopilot is great. Now, the only issue that I have with it is it doesn't stop at stoplights and stop signs. You know, I understand that that's what you get for paying for it, but this is like something that I think should just automatically register in all Tesla cars because of the safety, you know, behind it. Like, I get that, like, if you want to switch lanes, that's an upgrade that you have to pay for. Cool, you know, because if you had FS, I mean, if you had lane switch on basic autopilot, almost no one would buy FSD. Okay, so I get that not being included but the ability to stop at stop lights and stop signs i think should be included because the capability is built in and it's not like you know they have to do anything extra to provide that to everyone that has basic autopilot so that's something that you'll hear me talk about you know definitely quite a bit because i want to push for that and hopefully see that change one day that way you know Anyone who buys a new Tesla knows that it will automatically stop at a red light or a stop sign. Because right now, it does not. Unless you have FSD. And, um, yeah. I hope I can, you know, look back on this video one day 
and see that that has officially been changed. Um, but until then, we are working with basic autopilot. And yeah, so let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Um, definitely hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. You see how really smooth autopilot works when there's a car in front of you it is um you know, i really have to remind myself every second that fsd is not in control here and uh yeah let me know your thoughts below hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and make sure you subscribe for more thanks again for watching hope you have a great rest of your day